y'all. This time, the exciting adventure I have for you guys takes place in the super secret country of Wakanda. Guess who lives there? That's right, Black Panther. He runs Wakanda along with his sister Shuri. She's something of a technical genius, which is handy given that Wakanda is one of the most technologically advanced nations on Earth. Whoa, cool spear! All of which comes in useful as things are always happening around these parts. Case in point, this guy, Everett K. Ross, has been captured. Last known location, the neighboring rogue state of Naganda. Uh-oh! Also reported to be in Naganda is Panther's arch nemesis, Killmonger. So naturally, T'Challa's gonna have concerns as to his friend's condition. So, Panther's got a plan revolving around an old drilling machine left behind the last time some other villain tried to cause some tunneling trouble. Panther still got the drill machine parked up in an old base somewhere deep in the jungle. Oh, well, I mean that happened so, quick. This is Wakanda. Heard a lot about this place. Nice rhino statue. Hmm. Not quite as nice as the brochure suggested. Wow, what a mess! Looks like Killmonger's buddies All have been right. here and trashed the place. Once Black Panther and Shuri have completed their mission and rescued that Ross guy, they're gonna wanna get back here and clean this place up. I'm sure I'm not the only one that would be saying this, but Gwen cool annoys the hell out of me. I just cannot stand that character. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? I'm also... Did they just do a levels with the characters in the game? I don't... I mean, again, the movie isn't out at the point that I'm filming this don't like water anyway right so I mean I could absolutely be wrong but this uh does not hit me as what I would expect from the movie at all yeah I guess these guys had better find a way to power this place up the state it's in now, they're going nowhere. Glenpool, you talk way too much. Now here's something Push you up. don't see every day. A platforming section. This will require skill and dexterity. Right, I thought or, I'd do something with you, but I just want to go back character. to Black Panther. Okay. Uh, no, don't hit him. Hit that. Good job. Oh, I need her to do it. One, go back over. Oh well. There you are. It sounds like R2-D2. Or not, uh, BB-8, that's the one. I don't remember, like, half their names. Down here. That was, that was a terrible miss. There we go. No! Put me on this platform, thank you. I thought something was going to happen. Oh. shuri has got a lot more to her than I thought she did.
I'm pretty sure I got a glow stick too. I thought we'd stop up there and fight those guys. Oh no, but we're gonna fight these guys here, so that's good too. I was almost expecting those to have something that we could, uh, get a minikit for. God, I'm like, I've just been having brain farts all day. I was at the doctor's office earlier, and I couldn't even think of my name to tell the lady when she asked. It was, it was bad. <laughs> I suppose even the Black Panther has limits. Oh, you got this. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where we started from, so unless there's reason for us to go back here, I don't see the reason for me to go this way. Ah, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I couldn't imagine there being a reason for me to go back the exact way that I came. you get down there? Oh, there you go. Let me guess. Yeah, I come here. Little known fact. Giant mutated crocodiles love turkey dogs. True story. Oh, that thing moves slow. They look like they're gonna bite each other. That was not what I had in mind, but okay. So, what we're doing here is walking on killer mutated crocodiles. Yeesh, this place is a health and safety nightmare. Well, Shuri, come here. Oh, Shuri, you're killing me. I'm pretty sure I just jumped off the water there, but I'll take it. I just realized that he probably has something like this too, doesn't he? I'm gonna try it in a second, I'm gonna get real annoyed. No, he doesn't. Alright, no need to be annoyed. Oh, please stop, Panther. Hey, give me a hand, will ya? Sorry, Stan, I'm busy. Next time. Well, alright. That was like... They didn't have to do that. I may have fast tracking, so, I mean, I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but if I do, this will make this go a little faster. God, with how fast that thing was firing you, I think it was broken already. I really hope I'm wrong, but 
I'm really under the impression that this DLC is just taking characters from the movie and doing only that. There we go. Like, maybe there's something like this that happens in the movie, but I highly doubt it. That seems like a good enough sign to me that we did something right. So let's go. Great work! We're all powered up. Now we just have to find a way of stopping a few thousand tons of water from falling. That's all. No biggie. Oh, is it the? Oh, okay, that's a drill. A vibranium-powered sonar turret. Nice. Haven't used one of those bad boys since. Who am I kidding? I've never seen one of those before. Open sesame! Ha! Always wanted to say that. That's the first time I think I've this ever seen destroying something work dream. to fix something. Oh, okay. Thought the drill suddenly was gonna activate itself. I mean, it is activating itself, but, you know. so he doesn't end up in these scrapes. Poor old Killmonger. With a name like that, you're always gonna wind up in trouble. And things have gone perfectly for Black Panther. Wait a second, do Panthers actually purr or do they growl? Hmm. And yet, this leaves me in the same state as the other DLC. Like, there's some cool stuff to it. I mean, this one I think was a little more disappointing in the sense that, I mean, I still haven't seen the movie, so maybe I'll go see it and realize that this does happen. Not so much the drill, but that Ross gets captured or whatever. But like, this just felt like they made a level and stuck movie characters into it. Uh, I felt like they could have done a Killmonger boss fight and didn't, so I don't know. I'm hoping that some other stuff will come up, but I don't know, it's just, maybe it's just me, but I've just felt like the past few DLC that we've gotten haven't been great. Anyway, I mean, that's really it. Uh, uh, again, we'll see what comes with the rest of the season pass, but if you don't already have it and aren't that crazy about getting the characters or achievements, uh, you might be able to pass on this one. <laughs>